We have a part on the screen that's a wave part. It has a hole through the ID as well as typical OD and overall length. We'll use the verify command to interrogate the solid. Notice that the information is in placed in the feedback window and we can see the part size and use that to make stock decisions. Using the new tube shape in the stock feature command, this provides ability to go in and plug in an external diameter, an internal diameter of the stock, and then after pressing OK, we'll be able to input the coordinates for the two locations at the center point. With those in, the stock shapes created. We can shade the stock and show exactly what edge cam knows the stock shape is and what it will be in simulator. We can also edit that stock shape and notice that we can change the diameters of the inside and outside if we need to. So we'll see before and then after. And we can also change the coordinate input to change the length of the two center axis points. In this case, we'll extend the stock and make it three inches long. And again, the stock shape change is made. One of the other changes at this version of EdgeCam is easy input of voids into shapes. So we have a stock profile here. For milling, we'll use a profile shape and set a depth. When I press OK, rather than chain the part, I'll just make a window over everything there. Notice that the stock shape understands where the voids are correctly.